story uh, from Bright Agritech, and I'm just going to do a little video today for you uh, aquaponics aficionados out there. Um, there's a lot of questions about pH. Um, so pH is just a measure of the hydronium ions. It's a logarithmic, uh, inverse logarithmic uh, measurement. Um, all you need to know is that it's a measurement of acidity. So when you first start your TIS system, most likely you've got some carbonates in your water, which is a really bad thing. And I'll talk about that in a different clip. But um, eventually you will burn through those carbonates if you're adding water with low enough carbonates in it, if you're feeding at the uh, correct ratios and rates, and if you're getting really good growth and good uh, nitrification. So over time, your water becomes more acidic. Uh, that means as ammonia is broken, uh, is oxidized into nitride and then oxidized to nitrate, it's releasing hydrogen ions into solution. So to combat that, uh, which we have to do, uh, we, we add things to raise our pH. Now, if we didn't add those things, what would happen is that our pH would drop and drop and drop, and at a certain threshold, our nitrification efficiency is reduced. So what happens is our fish end up producing this waste, and the waste isn't processed fast enough, and pretty soon we've got ammonia problems, ammonia is toxic, and our fish uh, die. Okay, so it's bad news. So um, to, to combat uh, that constant acidity, okay, that acidification of our water, we add a few different things. So most people, um, if you're just starting off, this is, this is kind of crazy talk to you because you probably got a high pH. Okay, but what I would recommend is that over time you try to run down to around six. Okay, six to 6.4, that's the sweet spot for nutrient um, availability for your plants. Okay, everyone runs their system way too high. Way too high and they get uh, a lot of nutrient deficiencies because uh, they're their system pH is just too high for, for uh, nutrient uptake and assimilation by the plant. So to raise our pH on occasion, okay, to bump our pH back up, we add a few different things. And I'm going to warn you here, uh, I don't use very many carbonates, okay, because I like to keep carbonates out of my system. Every time you add carbonate to your system, you relinquish some level of control. So every time you're putting carbonates into your system, whether it's topping off, okay, whether it's in some kind of carbonate, you lose control over that pH. You can't basically control it as closely as you could if you're using something that's carbonate-free, all right? It's just a pure carbonate-free uh, base kind of chemical. So one thing that we use is potassium hydroxide, okay? This is caustic lye. Um, some people make this out of wood ash, okay, it, uh, I'm not sure, you know, the industrial version of this stuff, if it's made out of uh, actual wood ash or not, I'm not sure what the, the synthesis process is for it, but it's a very safe chemical, besides the facet, fact that it's a base, a very strong base, okay, um, it's not going to hurt your system unless you're adding way too much. So this is, this is one thing that I use. and. Be careful, it is dangerous. It's, it's uh, safe for your system, it's bad for you if you're getting it in your eyes or if you're inhaling it, or if you're mixing it too strong and sticking your hand in there, it'll make your fingernails fall out. So, um, this is one thing we add, okay? But this is also a potassium supplement for your system, all right? Now, the reason this is important, potassium isn't always sufficient in your system solution until you start adding the other pH-raising element Calcium, okay? This is hydrated lime, okay? And uh, it's, it's a base, again, uh, and if you guys look on the label of your hydrated lime, it's got a few different things in it. Um, it lists your calcium, okay, 32% calcium, magnesium, 17% magnesium. Uh, so there, this is a magnesium supplement to some extent. Um, but Essentially, the let's see the calcium hydroxide. See, that's what we're looking for right there. There's some calcium oxide, but this is mostly calcium hydroxide. Okay, uh, two hydroxyl groups and a calcium. Okay, so um, this is potassium hydroxide. Okay, this is one potassium, one hydroxyl group, and one potassium uh, atom. So that's. That's that molecule, this is this molecule. What you want to do is you want to mix these in your solution 50-50. Because potassium and calcium compete in your solution. Okay, that's the easiest way to think about it is if it gets too if there's too much potassium in your solution, your calcium precipitates out. 
Similarly, if there's too much calcium in your system, your potassium will precipitate out. So a lot of the time when people see a potassium deficiency in their system, it's not because it's not there. It's because there's just too much calcium in your solution and it's causing all of that potassium to precipitate out, it becomes a solid, it settles out on the bottom of the tank and it's not plant available. So you just want to watch that and when you're buffering, or buffering is the incorrect term, when you're raising your pH okay, with these chemicals, mix 50-50, okay, um, you just want to make sure that uh, you know, you're not getting too far off balance in any one direction. So long as you kind of keep it generally 50-50, you'll be fine. You're not going to have precipitation issues by and large. So um, those are the two big ones. Okay, so the one that I'm going to show you here, which uh, I would caution you against, okay, is dolomitic lime. So when I have a system that runs consistently low, we're talking 5.8, 5, 5.9, and it doesn't come up very easily, I will add some dolomitic lime, okay? at a rate that I know my carbonates will be consumed by my system acidity. So dolomitic lime is, um, if you guys look at the label on these things, it's got calcium, it's got magnesium, okay? Uh, calcium oxide, magnesium oxide, those are the forms, uh, two forms it occurs in. Calcium carbonate, okay, that's our carbonate, bad stuff, but in really small amounts, in a really, you know, carbonate-free system, it's all right. And then magnesium carbonate, okay? Um, so this is basically a carbonate that I will add very sparingly, very carefully to my system if it runs consistently low, and if I notice a magnesium deficiency issue. So um, that's really just for magnesium supplementation in kind of a slow release form in my system. And that's the only thing that I use dolomitic line for. Most folks, unless you have a system that runs really low, I just stay away from it altogether. It's going to do you more harm than good. Stick with your hydrated lime, stick with potassium hydroxide, and if you need to supplement magnesium, if a magnesium deficiency is showing, uh, look at uh, something like Epsom salt, okay, which is a magnesium sulfate. Okay, so if you guys need to buy this stuff, I would recommend um, you can get potassium hydroxide online. Really, something like this, uh, two, I, get, I get them by two pound bottles, okay? And this lasts me quite a while in my system. So I'm running 4,000 gallons here. Uh, and I'm basically bringing pH up on a daily basis. So every day, it gets a little potassium hydroxide, a little calcium, um, or hydrated lime as well. Calcium hydroxide, magnesium calcium, pardon me, uh, on occasion. So you can get this stuff online. This stuff you can get at just about any hardware store, okay? Uh, this is just, I'm not even sure if Soil Doctor is a really common brand everywhere, but it's available just about any hardware store, any lawn and garden store. Uh, you can get hydrated lime, okay? Make sure you're getting hydrated lime, not slaked lime, not masonry, masonry lime, uh, not uh, whatever. There's a lot of different limes out there. Hydrated lime is what you need. That's the stuff without carbonates, okay? This stuff, um, you can get it wherever. Uh, most lawn and garden stores will have it. You can get it online as well. And uh, it's, all this stuff is pretty cheap, and uh, it will save you a lot of hassle when it comes to moderating your pH.